More pain for Southwest Airlines. The carrier canceling close to 60% of its flights already today. We want to know if the latest travel nightmare could actually lead to some long-term and lasting changes in the industry. Here to talk about the push for a passenger bill of rights is Paul Hudson. He's the president of FlyersRights.org and a member of the FAA Aviation Rulemaking Advisory Committee. Good morning to you. Uh, we're all wondering uh, what comes next, whether Congress will act, and, and maybe most importantly, if Congress were to act in some way, what it should or would look like. Well, Congress, uh, of course, needs to act on the major legislative things, but much can be done by the DOT, which is the sole regulator of the airlines. And the latest um, situation with Southwest is so bad that um, it's a really a, a, a national crisis. But, but what are they, we talking the about here airline. in terms of in what terms of what a bill could or should look like? Uh, what kind of compensation should be offered? Uh, what those costs ultimately mean? Uh, for both customers, whether they get passed on to customers, for the margins of the businesses? Well, one thing is we need to have a delay compensation, uh, similar to what Europe has, and actually what the, all international flights involve delay compensation. Because there is no delay compensation domestically, and it actually is more profitable to give bad service and even cancel a flight than it is to operate it in many situations. What have you seen in terms of, you know, people talk about margins and what it does uh, for the businesses themselves, but also cost to customers. When you look at the flights in Europe, are they more expensive, less expensive? You know, they used to be more expensive, but um, with the low cost airlines coming in there, actually um, a lot of them are less. And our, our domestic flight, um, Costs have gone up somewhere between 25 and 40 percent in the last uh, year or so. And, but that's a function of, of just the concentration that we've seen. So if you were to put something like this in place, what else do you have to do from a competitive standpoint to try to bring in either low-cost carriers or others to try to, to, to control prices? And I don't want to say control well, prices, but pressure prices lower. For, for competition, uh, we now have only four airlines that control 80 percent of, of the traffic domestically. Um, we need to encourage uh, more entries, and that means we have to uh, provide slots for them at the major airports. Um, they don't have anything like common gates. What happens is major airlines are able to lock up slots and gates, and even if they don't use them. So there's a whole variety of things like that. Our, our proposal for um, a Bill of Rights involves 30 or 40 proposals about a quarter of them require legislation, but most of the rest are simply uh, rulemaking operations. You know, you know